Greetings Church, it's uh, Kevin Lucan on today, it's uh, Monday, the uh, 15th of uh, November, I had to think about that, <laughs> I just came out of 24 hours uh, down the street there and uh, on my way to uh, Key Bank uh, to drop off some coins that I had uh, received on uh, Saturday, I think it was Saturday, Saturday, um, I had preached on um, the uh, Matthew 10, 16 through 22 passage uh, that says that I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. And um, basically no highlights, just a reminder to um, Portland Christians that um, we are being devoured out here, you know. Uh, sheep in the midst of wolves of a crooked and perverse generation. And um, they're tearing us apart. Those of us that are on this side. Um, I think the conclusion of my message was um, out here were um, sheep in the midst of wolves and the crooked and perverse generation. But on the inside, they're uh, what Jesus had said um, you're turning my father's house into a den of robbers. So they're a den of robbers uh, on the inside. Um, of the fellowship and wolves on the outside. Basically, who am I talking about? Antichrists, unbelievers, um, people who sabotage your lives, you know, people who come into your home and rape you, take advantage of you. Um, I know that that's what they're doing to me. Uh, they're still doing it in the tent. Um, now they're coming in and they're using some sort of, I'm not sure what they're using, device to crack uh, my teeth. My wisdom tooth on this side right here is uh, cracked, it's split in two. Um, they drilled a hole in there, and so it's, it's I'm in pain. Um, I'm using up my, I've used up my Embosol. Uh, these are the same people that um, back in 2020, I had um, gone down to Salem, Oregon, and um, I, actually I went to three different dentists, and um, I went down to Salem, Oregon to have it removed uh, a second time. They had removed this one back in 2019, which was great. But then in 2020, they decided to uh, give me poison gas. And, um, and I felt like I was dying rather than falling asleep. So I jumped out of the uh, seat and ran. Uh, they had taken x-rays and they had, um, they had taken x-rays in three different places. And uh, one of them, I guess, sent me a bill. Um, and I accidentally tore it up and threw it away. I didn't pay for the x-rays. Apparently that's what the issue is. And so they decided to come back and this, you can see there's a, a, a missing tooth and it's the one after that, which is the wisdom tooth where you, you chew most of the time. So I can only, this morning when I woke up, I was only able to chew on this side. Uh, this side, if I touch it with any kind of food, um, the loose tooth, the loose part of the tooth um, gets, e e um, irritated and as you can see I'm running out of Ambisol and uh, so it's a lot of pain um, for me to uh, to chew on that side other than that as far as um, housing is concerned I went to I think I mentioned this I went to um, the main office and um, gave uh, the information to I guess the manager over uh, reach um, development and um, she has not responded by sending me a check. I don't know if the post office received it and did something with it. Anyway, I went back to West Shore Apartments today and spoke to one of the night managers and made mention to him um, if, you know, if, if these people are going to settle the account um, by uh, giving me back my check. He said that it went through, but I didn't get a response, you know. Um, when you don't get a response from a management company as to whether or not your application is received, rejected, what the problem is, you know, you can't just be filling out applications and giving these people $40, $50, and, um, and then not get a response. You know, in my case, they would have taken the money and given it to Gabriel. I heard, what I heard from Melinda MacArthur was that, and of course it's through the mouth and the ear, um, is that after I walked out of the after I walked out of the uh, the office on September 30th, apparently Guy Franklin and Gabriel walked in behind me and spoke to the management. I don't know what they said to the management, but um, 
not exactly sure. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm literally at war with this Haitian woman because she won't leave uh, Portland and go back to her own world. She's not family. And um, the MacArthur's daughter is an enemy from day one, you know? She's no friend of mine. And, um, and, it's, and, and it, these two women have just become, uh, God, I don't know what to say. Um, I used to think that homosexuality is, uh, is the enemy of, of all men. Uh, now I'm looking at these two women and they're nothing but devils, you know? Um, I don't know how you Christian men are out there dealing with the women, but be careful of, of some of these women, uh, both church and state, both uh, Christian and non-Christian. There is something in, in them that just says, um, we're here to cut you down, we're here to bring you down. And I think that's sad because we need women, you know what I mean? We need the love of women, we need the children from women. And the last thing we need is for women to um, form conspiracies together against us to cut us down. And so, you know, and, and Melinda was saying that she gave Gabriel permission to do what she's doing. I went to the police department on, on Saturday to file a report against what they were doing. I mean, they were, they were piercing me and raping me and molesting me, leaving me hard and using me. And this is, you know, MacArthur's daughter who's in her 60s giving this 90-year-old woman permission to do this. And it's the most disgusting thing I've ever heard um, from a, uh, you know, that a Christian woman is doing a Christian man you know she's giving them permission and uh, she's become a big enemy you know and you know from the back door you know back door enemy be careful of women that are back door enemies gentlemen um, they will destroy you um, they will gas you drug you work together with police um, I literally went into the police department and tried to to be doing the work by ourselves. That's why we were paired up. And in this generation, because of racism and bigotry, I ended up by myself. And so, you know, keep me in your prayers. Um, keep up with the updates, if, if, if you dare to. And, um, and I will talk to you later. And you have a um, happy Thanksgiving, if I don't talk to you again.